Simon Barrett from Show Technology joins us on Gearbox today. Simon, thanks for coming uh, along. No problem. Thanks for having me. Hey, you're welcome. Now, the Martin Mac Aura. Yep. This, is, this is a new and shiny toy. Tell, uh, tell us. Tell us about the Aura. Sure. Uh, from Martin, launched it in September mm -hmm. last year at Plaza in London. Uh, it's the new LED wash light from, from Martin. Um, particularly special, a couple of really nice features that kind of make it stand out. Yep. Uh, some things we're pretty excited about. It's got, a, it's got white, so we can do red, green, blue and white finally. A brilliant zoom and some, uh, some eye candy as well. Okay, let's, um, let's talk in a little bit more depth about, about each of those points. Um, the white, you can actually colour match your, in terms of your white output, you can get a variable colour temperature yeah, sure. from that. Yeah, they, they rate uh, 10K down to 2.5, so a massive variable colour temperature, so you can match it to discharge or to tungsten fixtures. In 2.5K, you can match it to domestic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really cool. Um, in terms of the zoom, I was actually having a play with this before you arrived, mm -hmm. and uh, it's pretty fast. Um, yeah. And the, there's there's some fairly serious range on it as well. What's what's the, uh, the beam angle? Sure, the zoom is it's one of the things that um, I think is most interesting. Mm -hmm. It's got a cracking zoom of 11 degrees, so that's really, really narrow, mm -hmm. to 58 degrees, which is really wide. And it's kind of, it's nice because it keeps the light output even across the whole beam range as well. So even at wide, it's still really bright. Yeah, and it gets there just Really Super fast. fast. Yeah. yeah. Um, the the actual pan and tilt's pretty fast too. What's our what's our range on on those? Uh, so it's got a uh, five five forty degrees on the pan and two hundred and something on the tilt. So a decent range, particularly on the pan. And of course, it's only five and a half kilograms, so it's really really mm. fast. Yeah. So it's it's able to throw itself around like nobody's business. Yeah. It looks almost like a mirror. You know, like a uh, from back in the day. Mm. Yeah. Okay, now as far as the eye candy goes, explain explain that sort of where the, the aura name's derived yep. from, I'm guessing. Yep, uh, so we've got a couple of options with um, controlling the colour. So we can control the, the beam, so it's uh, RGB white for the actual beam of the light. Mm -hmm. But we've got a secondary set of LEDs of red, green, blue just for the lens. Okay. So we can light the actual lens. So you look at the lens and it can be one colour, but the beam output's another colour. Okay, so so we're actually making the the physical lens of the the unit a feature as well as whatever is illuminated by it. So yep. it, that that's sort of going to put it quite nicely into the TV market, yep. I guess, as well. Yeah. Um, no flicker on camera. Obviously, you can probably see uh, we've got some flickering going on behind us, but this is uh, nice and stable. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Um, cooling wise, uh, it's it's got fans, but it doesn't seem like it's making a lot of noise. Sure. Uh, yeah. They temperature dependent. Yeah, they're, they're variable with the as the fixture gets hotter. But it's got it's got a lot of LEDs in it, but it still doesn't get hot compared to any of our discharge fixtures. So to, compared to a a discharge wash light, it's nowhere near as hot. Mm. I mean, you can happily touch it after many hours of, of use, and it's not hot. There is a fan just to manage that heat, but it's uh, super quiet. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, in terms of also. Um, being able to cascade multiple units because, as you say, there's a lot of LEDs in there. What, what's a power consumption like at 240 volts? Uh, so it's 200 watts, so about an amp. Okay. And, we so can put, and we've got PowerCon out on the back, so we can um, string many together. And DMX yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay, so we could easily so put 10 or so on a, sure. on a single chain. Yep. The control options for the beam and also the Aura, you mentioned you can actually get them to, to work together and mm -hmm. uh, do some interesting effects. Yep, there's a, there's a built-in effects engine, so we can obviously run standard effects on the fixture, so we can make the beam strobe as, as you would do with anything else, but mm -hmm. we can sync that with the Aura, so the Aura being the, the lens uh, illumination, so we can sync the two, so we could say, for example, have two, two strobes on the beam and then two strobes on the lens, uh, we can sync, match or, or, or not match the colour mixing of the two, so they can be opposite to each other, so there's a range of that type of um, effects built into the fixture as well. So we don't need to program those on our console, we can just use the DMX channel to mm. do those. On the topic of DMX channels, uh, 19 or 25, yep. depending which control mode. Sure. Um, now, in that 19 channel mode, you lose your ability to colour mix. How do you address your colours in that situation? Yeah, it's got, um, it's got almost like a colour wheel. So it's got a digital colour wheel channel. Okay. So you've got a dedicated uh, channel where as you scroll through the channel, it goes through 33 predefined lead colours. So okay. your standard most used lead colours. So you don't have to worry about colour mixing those. You can just go straight to that 
that option on that channel. Awesome. So that's the, the Martin Mac Aura. It's through show technology. Simon, thanks for your time. Pleasure. Thank you.